Hey viewers, welcome back. Apparently fact says people in YouTube don't watch beyond 5 minutes. Um, well, so I can't change all of your mindsets but I'll definitely try to add more videos. So I couldn't really fit all the questions that I had in mind to share with you guys. So I have put that in the next video as well. So I'll try to uh, squeeze in as many videos as possible. But then come on, relax your rules a little bit. Um, more than that five minute, watch a little longer, um, get the real juice, okay? Another most frequently asked question, do we need a greenhouse to start hydroponics? The answer is yes and no. I'll, I'll tell you why. I am inside a, a hydroponic experience center that we have built and I'm inside a greenhouse. So basically if it rains, I'm safe. So you got the idea. Anyway, so coming back to the question, uh, do we need a greenhouse or not uh, for growing plants in hydroponics? Uh, the answer is, is it, is it a strict requirement? No. Uh, why do we want a greenhouse then? Uh, you can grow plants in any soilless medium or in water and if you give the right nutrients uh, the way it should be given, the plants will grow. Uh, the reason we want a greenhouse is uh, the plants be protected from all the elements. It could be extreme sun or it could be extreme uh, rain. What happens if extreme sun comes? Because if extreme sunlight happens, the plants will lose more water. So they, may, they may not be able to handle that much of a temperature. Or if there is extreme rain, then the rainwater can come into the hydroponic system that you have uh, created and it can dilute the nutrient solution further. And then if you dilute the nutrient solution, we are not giving the right strength of the solution. So we want to keep the root zone or the growing environment for the plant as steady as possible. Uh, which is why protecting the plants from extreme rain or any other element that may cause a change in their growing uh, pattern. Uh, but with that said, uh, you can absolutely grow without a greenhouse as well. As long as the plants are uh, getting what they want, they never demanded give me a greenhouse. So uh, you are absolutely fine for a home or a rooftop if you understand the problems that you may face should uh, rainfall hit on the uh, growing system and the repercussions of having the system exposed to the elements, then it's fine. The problem is when we don't know what is going to happen and then we expose the system to the world outside, uh, then it may create a lot of concerns. I'll give you some examples. So you may keep a pump outside, um, assuming it won't rain and it rains and causes some electrocution. So all these things you don't want to happen in your farm or your garden, which is why most of the hydroponic systems are kept inside. This is from the environmental point of view. Another thing is in terms of security and safety point of view. Uh, for example, uh, if you enclose the plants or your system inside a greenhouse, naturally you are creating an environment uh, to stop pests from coming in. That is uh, that's a very good thing because less pests, less pesticides. And also you uh, avoid unnecessary trespassing and people, you know, um, vandalizing, pilfering stuff. You don't want all that. So keeping people uh, or unwanted people uh, and pests and rodents away from your farm is also one form of protection. Um, so the greenhouse helps in that as well. And also a greenhouse kind of helps in keeping the humidity or the temperature uniform. Uh, ideally, the greenhouses are meant for countries with cold temperature so that a greenhouse effect can um, make the uh, environment inside warmer. But in India, it is not really very useful because we have only warm climate and warmer climate. We don't have a lot of cold weather. That is a separate debate on what type of greenhouse is suitable for where and probably I'll spend, uh, I can already see two to three videos specifically only for the greenhouse choice according to the place you are, you are uh, depending on the humidity, uh, temperature, what crop you want. Um, that's an entire video at least for half an hour I could see. To give an answer for your question, greenhouse is not absolutely required for hydroponics. If you have it, the success rate is much higher. If you don't have it, you are again at the mercy of the rain gods or anything else that can possibly um, affect your system. Uh, but it's not a ma absolute mandatory to have greenhouse in your uh, farm or a garden. Hope that answered your question. This is another question. Hydroponics does not get pests. Hydroponic never, <laughs> hydroponic is just a concept. So why will it get pests? Jokes aside. So if you grow plants in hydroponics, that again depends on what kind of system. If you're growing plants in NFT where there is no soil, soil-borne pests are absent when you start with and 
they remain absent because there is no way the eggs in the soil can hatch and come into your plant because these are grown in NFT channels and plants are fended in a, with a net pot. So soil borne pests are avoided, yes that's absolutely true. Uh, but airborne pests, unless you have a protective covering for the plants, your plants are exposed to them. So soil borne pests are avoided if you are growing in a soilless system. Airborne pests are still a threat to your plants. So only if you are following a hydroculture, which is NFT, DFT, deep water culture, urban flow, etc., you are slightly immune to the pests that are soil borne. But again, if you are growing the seedlings in a uh, seed starting medium, and there if there is an infection, it can possibly come to the growing system. If you are growing in a substrate culture, for example, bags of cocoa peat filled in, it depends on how clean the substrate is when you started and also how hygienically you maintain the growing area. If both are taken care of well, you can be uh, absolutely assured there is going to be uh, almost no pest or a very less occurrence of pest through the substrate. Again, if you are growing inside a greenhouse, the incidence of pests are rare. But the moment they enter your greenhouse and they are going to stay inside because it's a very warm and safe environment for the pests. So it is really the effort you take in keeping the uh, hygiene of the greenhouse intact, you can avoid pests. There is no rule that hydroponically grown plants are safe from pests. It is on how you take care of them. That said, there is a lot of immunity to the plants by way of having no access for the pests to enter. If you really see if the, plant, the pests cannot multiply in soil, and then there is no soil, so the pest cannot enter. That's, that's the idea behind hydroponics getting less number of pest incidents. Another uh, popular question that I get is, I hear hydroponic, in hydroponics, uh, you can grow any plant anywhere throughout the year. No, that's not true. See, hydroponics is a way of growing. If you want to grow certain crops in a certain area, the area should be conducive for the plants to grow. For example, if you are growing cucumber in the summer, it will grow. If you are growing cucumber in the winter, it will grow. But for example, if you want strawberry to be grown in an area which is not suitable for strawberry, then just following a hydroponic method of growing is not going to solve it. You need to provide the right environment for the plant in terms of weather conditions as well. So you may have to grow it in a place where the temperature is suitable for strawberry. Just because you wanted to grow it in hydroponics doesn't mean automatically the strawberry plant will grow anywhere. That is absolutely a myth. Hydroponics cannot control the weather. The plants are still governed by the weather conditions, still temperature, humidity, light levels, all of them matter. So you need to really pay attention to what are the crops requirement and choose the locality or choose the locality and choose the crop that will suit that locality. Uh, of course, everyone will be happy if you can grow the cold weather crops in desert areas but then that's not going to happen unless you really invest heavily on reducing the temperature in which case you would rather transport it from another place than invest on a new place for controlling the weather doesn't work at all so to answer your question no doing it in hydroponics alone will not help doing it in a controlled environment agriculture may controlled environment agriculture is something where you control everything not just the food it, plant food it is also the weather everything if we control that, then that's called controlled environment agriculture. And that also need to be done in a sustainable way. 